The early church was saturated with false teachers. To gain a hearing, they came up with clever stories that would appeal to their listeners. To the intellectual, they philosophized. To those who were more of the emotional bent, they told stories that would grab the heart. To the spiritually naive and immature, well, anything worked with them. You see, false teachers always skip a significant doctrine or, or two, but they could sure draw a crowd. So Peter made it clear that his message about Jesus was as an eyewitness. 2 Peter 1.16, he says, For we did not follow cleverly devised myths when we made known to you the power of the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, but we were eyewitnesses of his majesty. See, every generation has its share of misleading teachers. From the first century until now, men and women have twisted the truth, and they'll continue to do that. Some have made slight and subtle changes by redefining an aspect of theology or emphasizing one truth but ignoring another. Others have flatly denied the very essence of the gospel. Each group attracts gullible, immature, or rebellious followers. For this reason, we must know what we believe and why we believe it. We must understand the essential elements of the faith. We have to develop a theological grid through which we can evaluate the plethora of books and blogs and media and YouTube teaching that bombard us from every direction. So keep your feet planted in Scripture. There you're going to find truth from those like Peter who were eyewitnesses of his majesty. By the way, we have a great resource. We would love for you to partake in. It, it, it's called Living Grounded. You can get it on Amazon. Just go to Amazon and you can order Living Grounded. The, the, the purpose of Living Grounded is to help you get grounded in your faith. We need to be those who have our feet planted and grounded in Scripture. Father, protect us from errant doctrines, but help us first, Father, gain true theology so we can spot what, what is wrong. Help us, Father, be, be able to examine what we read and what we hear, and help us be those, Lord, who have discernment regarding truth. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.